All right, guys. So um, we had to go to Walmart. Um, we had to get some water, some pack of water, and some other things for toiletries wise. But while we were in there, we actually noticed they had some interesting snacks, and so I kind of want to share what we got, like our little Walmart haul. It was interesting because they, the area we're in, we're in Brampton, so it's a highly Indian populated, and so the Walmart had a bunch of like Indian Islamic snacks, and it was kind of interesting. They had a halal meat. Um, but yeah, we got some little goodies here and uh, here, let me show you our haul. So this is everything we got. And so they had these peach Twizzlers. I've never seen these. So we're going to try those. We got some different kinds of Sour Patch Kids. They have these, um, a 50 pack with like Aero candies and the Smarties, Kit Kat, Coffee Crisp. I don't like those. I don't like coffee. So Faz will tell you if those are good. And so and then they had um, Indian inspired, like Indian snacks in the, like a little um, center aisle area. And so they had these mis magic masala chips, tomato tango. And then they have a uh, zesty, just a zesty cheese. And then all dressed ruffles. And we also got some ketchup lays because apparently that's a popular thing here. So we're gonna like give them a try, um, see which ones we like, which ones we don't, and tell you how we feel. All right, so we're gonna start trying trying some of the snacks. So the first thing I guess we're gonna try is the all dressed. So let's give that a try. It has like onions, pepper, salt on the cover. So. Yeah, I'm not really sure what it means by all dressed, but look, we're gonna give it a try. Uh. Good. It tastes like, I would say, stronger onion flavor. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like sour cream and onion. Mm-hmm. Onion and cheddar, kind of. Yeah. They're good. I don't taste any um pepper though. Mm -hmm. It's good though. Yeah, these we don't are... have that there. And I found like a lot of um chips in that Walmart have the same all dressed flavor, yeah. so it must be a popular. Thing. All right, so the next thing we can probably try is uh, an Indian snack. It's called Punjab Mix. So this is Chevra. It's kind of like, um, I don't know how you put like fried doughs and different kinds. It's like munchies, but Indian style munchies. Yeah. So we'll give it a try. The flavor is good, but it's not fresh. It's stale. Yeah. So, I mean, it has a good kick. And it tastes good, but... Mm, it's good. It's not fresh. But it's a little <coughs> stale. Like, I think if you got it, like, at an Indian store around our area, it's a little fresher. But... I don't know if it's a popular item in that Walmart, so maybe it doesn't move yeah. off the shelves, but... All right. On to the next snack. Um, Try the tomato tango. Okay. So here's the tomato tango. So this was one of the chips that were in like the Indian inspired snacks. Yeah. So we'll give this one a try. They did have like another chicken and tomato or whatever, but I wasn't too sure about that one. So I just grabbed this one. So I'm noticing a lot of these have ridges on them. So they're like rigid. Mm. I'll see what you think. I'm not a fan. It tastes very much like what it a tastes fresh like tomato on a chip to me. It kind of tastes like tomato soup. Kind of. Not on a chip. It's very strong. It's not that bad. I mean, if you like tomato, it's more of like a sweet tomato. Yeah. Like ketchup. Kind of hinting on ketchup. No more. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I don't mind it's it. not bad, but I'm not really a huge tomato fan either, so. All right. So I guess since that was tomato, the next one we can try is a ketchup. 
So these are gonna be ketchup flavored lace. And this Just, is like a popular thing over here because even yeah. like at the Burger King, there's like ketchup nuggets. So I guess ketchup flavor is popular. Spoiler alert, we already tried them. <laughs> but we'll try again for on, yeah. the, on the camera. But I like them when I tried them. These are better because they have more of a tang. So it kind of tastes like salt and vinegar chips if you're a fan of salt and vinegar chips. And then a hint of tomato. So I uh, like these better. I'm not a salt and vinegar fan, but I like these too. But you can kind of see they're a little red. So it really looks like they put ketchup on there. I really like them. I mean, it kind of tastes like fries and ketchup if you really think about it. Yeah. And the other thing is these ones aren't rigid. You don't have rigid. These are like your classic Yeah, they're style. not ruffles. Those ones good. are good. Check them out. All right, next one. We have the Masala Magic. These ones look cool. Um, it's another Indian inspired. Yeah. And the same same place where the tomato one was, the um, tomato tango one. So we'll see. And these are ruffles. Okay, I see. I wonder if they're gonna take, like, it tastes like garam masala. Or if it's like chaat masala kind of. It tastes like chat. If you've ever had chat, it tastes almost identical. I think it's the same masala that they use. Yeah. Or it kind of has the same flavor profile as the chevra, but on a potato chip. Or if you had like a um, ch samosa chat. Yeah. These are good. I like them. Yeah. But you have to be into those kind of flavors. Try it. These are good. I don't know why it's not. I would definitely get this. I would eat them. Okay. So I think the last salty snack we have is a different kind of Cheeto, the zesty cheese. I don't know if I've seen these in the States yet. Maybe. Dorito. Doritos. Yeah. 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 I haven't seen. Oh. <laughs> Doritos. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen these in in the States yet. So. No. Maybe. They have like a, quite a bit of variety of um, Doritos too. See how zesty these are. They look like normal Doritos to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're a little stronger on the cheese, but they're good. But they kind of remind me of just like regular Doritos. A little stronger. You know how you have nacho cheese Doritos? These are just like cheddar cheese Doritos. Yeah. That's what it comes tastes like to me. Well, but I like Doritos. These are good for me. Okay. That does it for all the savory snacks. Um, which one do you want to do next? We're gonna do the Sour Patch. All right, Sour Patch. So these are Sour Cherry Blasters. So I'm not sure what that means. Looks like they're a bunch of cherries on them, so maybe they're cherry. So they're not really Sour Patch Kids, they're Sour Patch Cherries. I think they're kind of like Gushers, that's what it sounds like, but there's fruit juice in it. Sour than sweet. Oh, and the other thing, a lot of these snacks, you'll notice that like they'll have in English and in French, because we're in Ontario. So this secondary language here is all in French, so like in Florida, a lot of the secondary languages is are, are in Spanish, so just an interesting little fact here. We have to figure out how to open these. There we go. <laughs> All right, let me try one because sometimes sour patches can be really sour. So that's kind of what it looks like. Looks like a bunch of cherries. Definitely sour. Um, it actually doesn't have any juice in it. I don't know, this one has like, look at this one. This one just, there's no green in it. But. I don't know what this is supposed, it's like a bunch of berries. To me it pretty much tastes like cherry flavored Sour Patch Kids. It's good, I like it. Mm-hmm. I could go down on a whole bag of these. Probably not good for me though. 
All right. So the next snack we're gonna try are these Twizzlers. They're peach flavored Twizzlers. So that's interesting because usually they're like strawberry, I believe. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes you have like the fruit flavor on Twizzlers, but I've never seen peach. So I was like, grab these and try it out. And they have a weird smell to them. Hmm. They kind of smell like peach, but kind of plastic smelling. We'll see. Yeah. Give it a try. Hmm. They're okay. I don't know if I would recommend them. It's not super sweet. You get some a hint of the peach, but like any other Twizzler, it's not really a super sweet snack. Yeah. So, but you it's, do get a peach like after yeah. after taste on it. It's not bad, but I wouldn't be like running to the store to get these. Mm -mm. I don't know if this was next to like a regular Twizzlers pack, which one would you grab? Probably the regular. The regular? Yeah, I think so. But yeah. Yeah, they're not bad though. All right. And so then the last bit we got was like a box of like assorted. I mean, we all know what a Kit Kat tastes like, so we won't, we'll skip the Kit Kat, but it's got Coffee Crisp, Arrows, and Smarties. So, we'll give them. You can try a Cookie Crisp, because I don't like coffee. No, Coffee Crisp, sorry. Alright, so that's what it looks like. And I think the inside's kind of supposed to be like wafers, like thin wafers stuck together, so we'll see. Um. Tastes like coffee? It does. I mean, the flavor is not bad, but on the inside, I don't know if you can see. It's kind of dry. Like, I expected it to be a little bit more moist on the inside. Maybe you're supposed to dip them. Maybe. Maybe you dip them in coffee. Because it's supposed to have like caramel on the inside. Hmm. But it's not bad. Would I run back and eat them or find, try to find them? Probably not. But they're not bad. You need to put some peanut butter in that. Yeah, or more <laughs> yeah. like caramel. But it's not bad. Just take out the coffee. Yeah. Does it taste like coffee? It has a hint. Okay. It's not strong. All right, so the next one you can try is the Smarties. Okay. So... Here we go. <laughs> so Smarties are kind of like um, souped up M&Ms. That's so kind of like what they look like. <coughs> so you can see there's a pink one. It's got a few different colors. Let's see you want one? I actually had these when I was a kid. It's been a long time, but I've had them as a kid. They're good. Um, I think Smarties are more like a British candy, hence why you find them more in Canada. You don't really find them in the U.S. I'm okay. Um, they're not bad. Kind so of like M&Ms, but... If you imagine, like, an M&M that has more candy than chocolate... Yeah. That's kind of what this is. It's like, the shell is harder and a little more crunchier, but the chocolate inside is good. But, like, it's a <laughs> thick layer of candy instead of like how M&M's are a little more thinner. Yeah. But they're good. Definitely crunching your teeth. Yeah. It's definitely more candy coating than chocolate. And then the last one is Arrow Bar. I find this one interesting because it's supposed to have like a lot of holes yeah. in the chocolate and that's supposed to somehow make it more creamy. It's supposed to be Arrow. Let's see. That's interesting. Peanut free. So like if you have a peanut allergy, you could eat these. Apparently all of them are. Yeah. I saw it on the box. Oh yeah, the whole box is peanut free. So if you have a peanut allergy, you can... I don't know if you guys can see the holes. The camera's not really focusing. It's not really focusing. But, I really like this. 
Mm, there's not a lot of holes. If you look at that. There's a bit of holes. I really like this. It's creamy. It melts in your mouth. It's kind of like a chocolate mousse inside. Yeah. You know how chocolate mousses are little airs? Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it is. A chocolate mousse filled bar. Yeah, it says feel the bubbles melt. I like that. I would, They're I would, good. Yeah. It's chocolate. And it's nice because it was like smaller sizes so you can try out. Yeah. So that was our haul. I mean, overall, I think it was pretty good. Um, my least favorite, honestly, was the Chevra, the Indian snack. Just because it was stale. I mean, the flavor was there, but it was a little stale. Um, my favorite... Um, I don't know, all the chips were kind of good, but... I don't know what I was call my favorite. Hmm... Which one would you like? Which one would be well, your favorite? Well, for me, um, my least favorite would be the tomato tango. <laughs> because for me, the Indian, the pajami mix it was good. The flavor is good. It just was stale. Yeah. But the tomato tango, I don't know. It was just too strong. Mm. Sweet tomato for me. But um, my favorite, I think, would be between the all dress and the masala magic chips. Hmm. I like those two. That's weird because, like, I kind of liked the tomato tango one. Okay. I mean, it's your favorite. But I also like the ketchup. Too. Oh, I like the ketchup too. So it's hard. Um, if they were both next to each other, I'd probably grab the ketchup before I brought grab the tomato one. But yeah, the all seasoning one was good too. But I mean, that tasted more just like um, sour cream and onion. So it or wasn't or like cheddar. Sour so cream. it's not something unique that it wasn't a unique enough flavor for me. But yeah, I think the ketchup, the ketchup chips is what what would be I would put as my favorite. For the candy, I think my favorite was, I don't remember what, everything we tried, um, the Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hmm. I like the Sour Patch Kids too, but I think my favorite would be the Arrow candy bar. Yeah. Yeah. I like the Arrow. But there you have it, a quick haul from Walmart, uh, different like snacks. And that Walmart that that's down the street, they have a lot more different snacks. This is just what... You know, we were like, we don't want to waste, so... And don't worry, anything we don't finish, we'll probably end up giving to family that's around yeah. here. So we're not going to waste any of the food that we got. But uh, that was our haul for today. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we enjoyed it, and hope you try some of these snacks when you get a, if you get a chance. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Bye. You know what would be cool? If they added some of these snacks to the Can Canada Pavilion in Epcot. Because that would be, that'd be cool. I'm wondering if some of them are. I feel like the ketchup chips, I've heard of the ketchup chips, I think, being there. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know what? We're, we'll try to make a trip out to Epcot after there and see what the Canada Pavilion has yeah. and see what snacks they do have from here. Because we might have some of the same snacks. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. All right. So, see you on the next five. Bye. Bye.